Uh, my name is Philip Grunvold. I work for Opera Software, and I'm a product manager in the product group at Opera Software. And today we're going to be looking at Opera and Migo. That's right. We have a Labs edition that was out last week. It's Opera Mobile 11 for Migos. This is uh, part of Opera Labs projects, uh, which is one step before beta. And why is Opera doing anything with Migo? Does anyone care anymore after Nokia? <laughs> We're excited about, uh, I guess, the future of Migo uh, because our partners and um, others in the industry are looking at Migo for a future platform, especially on netbooks and tablets. Uh, we, of course, will uh, look forward to supporting the handsets that come in marketplace because Opera tries to spread the best internet experience on any device, and that includes Migo devices if they do come to market in smartphone, tablets, or handhelds. All right, can we get a demo? Absolutely. Here we see the Wii Tab. Um, this is uh, the first Migo device that was public. Uh, this is running a Migo 1.0 build. And uh, what we have here is we have Opera Mobile 11 installed uh, on the Migo home screen, on the Wii Tab home screen. Uh, here we have Opera Mobile that has opened up. Um, it opens up in a, in a window, and you're able to full screen. This is part of the Wii Tab uh, user interface. Um, in Opera, we have included our own virtual keyboard, which is the same keyboard that you can see in other um, versions of Opera Mobile 11. But this also works with the Migo keyboard um, as well, if, uh, if there is interest for the Migo keyboard. So let's take a look at a, of a website here. Uh, pardon, we are on a, a conference Wi-Fi here, so there is no uh, real good internet connection. But um, let's give it a shot. Yeah, pretty good. So at Opera, we have what's very unique with Opera Mobile 11 on all of our platforms is our user experience. We have an ultra smooth panning and zooming available in Opera Mobile 11. And you can notice the page is still loading here, but you're still able to interact with the website, zoom in, We'll try another website here. We'll try something like uh, maybe Netbook News. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's we'll see what happens now. Mm. And here we have Netbook News. And again, smooth scrolling while loading. So the images are still coming in. There is text wrap here, uh, same in Opera Mobile 11. So if a user zooms in, it will wrap the text to the screen and then rewrap it when it zooms out. The same features that are normal, uh, normally found in Opera Mobile 11 are found here in the Migo 11 build. We have actually a full screen option as well uh, for Migo. Um, but we do have the Opera keyboard down here and we have a mouse pointer for our Migo build in case you're running a netbook. Um, where you actually have a mouse and a keypad. But I would like to show you this uh, native browser on Migo. Um, this is actually based on WebKit 534 branch. But we'll go ahead and load the New York Times. So you have quick loading as well with the native browser. What real difference is, is the usability and panning and zooming and you will see fuzzy text when zooming in and out unlike always clear text in Opera yeah and you always have the sidebars here which is actually kind of annoying you can't go to full screen can't go to full screen this is a, a unique function inside a Wii tab this isn't Amigo specific um, but it is, um, you know, unique for this platform. So it is a usability question. Um, but for us, we have, uh, in our labs release, we're supporting Migo in, in generic form. So we don't have support for Migo uh, WeTab specific here, integration. So their, their browser uh, it has checkerboarding. There is, check, there is some checkerboarding uh, when you zoom in and then you scroll. If you can get to scroll. But we'll go back to uh, the Opera browser to, uh, 
to show the difference again between the New York Times um, website and Opera and then Migo. Yeah, the browsing experience on a tablet is uh, de definitely an issue for pretty much every everything on the market. And Opera 11 is now available on... Opera, Le Opera 11 is now available on Windows 7 platforms and Migo platforms as a Labs release. Uh, so we were excited about that to bring our great tablet experience to those two platforms. But of course, Opera Mobile 11 is actually available for Android tablets with the newly released Android 3.0. Um, so we're excited there. And then we have announced that Opera Mini uh, will be on iPad. Well, it is on iPad now, but the new version will be. Uh, there is no exact date on, on that yet, uh, but the labs released or all of our releases last week for tablets was focused on Android, Mego, Windows platforms. All right, well, we can't wait for an actual release to come out or out of the beta, and we're looking forward to finding out when that is. Thank you for your time.